Sexy People Podcast. I'm Dan Frigolette. I'm here with Elizabeth Hansen. Hello, hello, hello. hello friend. We're back. Hey. It's been like more than a year. I've never met you. <laughs> Not in person. <laughs> I've never met you. This is it. Uh, thank you for moving to New York. Cheers to new friends. Yeah, thank you for moving to New York and giving me access. And thank you for the tea. Uh, give me, let's give it, let's, we don't have to like shout out the brand, but tell me what this tea is. This is a stress relief kava tea. It's. And this way they can impersonate us or whatever. Yeah, it's herbaceous. People and, buy um, panties and socks and mm-hmm. they would buy whatever you eat and drink to make themselves feel good. Yes, yeah, totally. <laughs> I would dip the panties in the tea and then that would give it that really authentic okay. stress relieving flavor. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down for that. I'm I'm kind of a sicko. I want I want this is the person I'm dating. If I go away, I want them to sneak underwear into my bag. Sneak underwear into your bag? Yeah, I'm stealing it already. Without I was gonna knowledge. say, is it more fun if they put it in there and you find it it's later? Both. Or if you take it and then they're looking for it later and they're texting it's you like, both. "Have you seen my underwear?" I don't think women know where their underwear is because I've, I always know where my I've underwear taken is. So much underwear. Okay, well, I'll keep my eye on you. <laughs> it's so much what do you do with it after you've taken it? It's just it's just around. Do you have like a wall of underwear? Is there a panty wall? No, that would be that would be um that would be like 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 on the wrong side of masculinity. They're just like I'm on I'm on the positive side. It's like they're like in like a remembrance space. They're not So like they're on a shrine. A wall with like a tag on them. No, it's a shrine. Sure. Is Are that- they ever washed? No, that would that's defeat the, the whole purpose. Whole point. <laughs> so they usually get acquired um, during a sexual escapade. That makes so sense. So they've they've come off as they tend to um, during sexual escapades. <laughs> yes, although I, I'm also very pro leave them on. Um, but and then I'll just you know if yeah, I that's can, one of my pet peeves. Leave them on is leaving them on. I hate that. I hate oh. when a guy does that. When a guy leaves his on. No, when he leaves my underwear Why? on and still tries to fuck me. Why? Because. It like will slide over and then well, you, a little bit of it will get like stuck next to even if it's pulled it. to the side. You no, but it's, it. it's so much work to manage. I don't want to be thinking about managing my underwear. You don't while have I'm getting to manage fucked. it. Well, I they have never to do. It. They never do. I would hate to be a woman. The stories that I hear. Honestly. Sound awful. Thank you. I appreciate it. I try to have the best <laughs> sex of my life every day. That's like that's like honestly, I like I like had that realization this morning. Every day is a new high. It's a new high. Sure. But also, like, yeah, you're like, I don't know, it's like, I don't, but again, I, it's so hard to be me and say things and have it not sound like talk to masculinity. But it's like, I want to hit it, I want to <laughs> hit it, I want to hit my, my high score, you know? But I want to But have, is the score quantity or quality? No, it's, it's, it's quantity. No, sorry, it's quality. It's okay, then it's not toxic it's somebody, masculinity. It's I think it's funny when you confuse those two. You're like, yeah, no, it's uh, quality. And you're like, fuck, oh, that's not what uh, I meant. Well, the, I think the toxic masculinity side would be if it was quantity. If it's just, oh, I want to bang this many chicks. Yeah. Then it's like, what's the point? But if it's like, yeah, I want to keep having better and better sex as I grow and learn and expand as a person, that makes fucking sense. I need, you, you, and you, I agree. Remember that <laughs> they had that sketch on um, Key and Peele where the um, I love Key and Peele. where the, it was the uh, Obama's anger translator. Uh, the, yeah, yep, yeah, 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 you, yeah. You're like, you're like my, you're like my late, make it sound not shitty translator, like. When I go on stage, I have to like. So tell I should I work tell- in PR. That's yeah. what I'm here. Do you want me to be your manager? <laughs> Don't fuck with me. That's what I've been looking for for a long time. Um, <laughs> I've never been a manager before, really, no, but, but people like, tell me I should be a dom. So I, I feel could, like that's like a step yes, away. I would love for you to yell at people on my behalf. I like yelling at people when it's on someone else's. I won't do yeah. it for myself, but I'll do it for other people. So so much is happening. Uh, okay, wait. So <laughs> is your tendency to uh, sexually to be a dom? No, it's not. Like, unfortunately, I really wish that it was. Because I think like it would it. be so fun. You'd rather be choked than choke. It's just that I'm worried about hurting people and I don't want to hurt someone. I don't think you're going to hurt anybody. But I'm then, afraid of hurting them. I don't want to hurt them. what it feels like. It's difficult. It's difficult to like be in love and then spit in someone's throat. Is it? It is. <laughs> it is. Because on the one... Dude, uh, so... Okay, so I'm in a, I'm in a toxic, awful thing right now. Mm. And mm. I'm in love, but I, but it's not... Uh, it's I'm not healthy also, love. I'm also confused. Um, she doesn't listen to podcasts, so it doesn't matter. But so like she went to spit in my mouth the other day and I had to catch it mid and I was like, oh, no, I'm not into that. And I had to like whoosh, and I don't even like <laughs> I, don't, I don't like I don't like any of the girls. Like I don't even like if you're blowing me and then you like put your hand on the bed. 
I don't even like that. I'm like mad. Just random I'm just fluids. Like looking at the sheets and just like twitching. Yeah, like I like yeah, like yeah, that pisses me off too. And then it's... just like wipe it. Like I had somebody wipe it on the curtain once, and I was like, no, on the curtain. Cause, yeah, because they were like, because they knew I didn't like like a wet hand put on me. So then they thought the solution was to wipe it on a curtain, and it's not even my curtain, but it still upset me. It like takes me out. It's of a matter of principle. I don't know what the principle is. The but. principle is. I don't know. Keep the fluids where the fluids should be. Well, I love a, I love a sloppy blowjob. So See, wh- what you are can't you love a sloppy jo- blowjob and then not like the slop. But like, yeah, like what he's no. I mean, there's a there's plenty of that. I like I like um I like spitting, but I don't want the spit to touch me. I like coming. I don't want the cum to touch me. The, all are you of afraid these, of your own cum? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I just made a video because I have an only fans. <laughs> I just made a video where I came on myself and I had to like make it like I had to make like a decision about doing it and it got in my belly button and it never it's still in there. I think. <laughs> Like it hasn't come out. You need a power washer. I don't know. I was. Well, I'm also 35 pounds overweight, so there's way more belly button than there ever has been. So I'm in like. It's cushion for the pushing. I guess, but it's not in the right places. When you when you're a man and you get overweight, you just get a belly and then your butt goes away. That's you the idea of the dad bod. That's the whole appeal. <laughs> but that's of it. not real. The only reason we have a dad bod is because we wanted to like keep Leonardo DiCaprio around. Like, no, that's fuck Leonardo DiCaprio. Thank first you. off, thank you. Not about that. Not in any way. Thank um, you. But I am a huge fan of the meme of women announcing their 26th birthday as their Leonardo DiCaprio birthday. So I this is recent, right? And so about a year ago, I made a year and a half ago, I made a video about how we need to cancel Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm and ready. Nobody's on board. And when I do it, it's and I when I do it, it shows women are not on board. Women really want to keep because they're like, like, oh, but Titanic. Rose. I said the cut oh. I, said, I said, listen, if you were born after Titanic, that's it. You can't fuck him. <laughs> hey, look, if you were around and you were at like sexual age of when Titanic came out, fine, you can fuck him. But, but he won't fuck you if you're over the age of 25. Right. Right. And so it's and the, and the major point is like, number one is like he's got a Bugs Bunny body. It's, 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 it's revolting. Right. He's got <laughs> he's got like very he's got like he's got like I didn't. I don't spend a lot of time looking at his body. Well, y- you can't avoid it on a lot of things. He's got no Good. legs. He's got no butt. He's got a little bit of a belly. He's very flat everywhere except for his little belly. Um, he's got a Bugs Bunny body. And the, well, the main point I'm is, not here to body shame him. I am bullshit. here to personality. Shame I appreciate him that. And choice shame him. Fine. I like I like you keeping me in line. You He's really, a you twisted, do. perverted man. Yeah. Well, and, I've and heard, like I don't care what he looks like. Yeah. Because that's an external thing, right? That's not his Fine. worth. Yeah. That's get fair. in line. But you're ruining my bet. <laughs> um, but I'm a bus kill. <laughs> get used to it. <laughs> but if he was your dad and he was banging twenty year olds and he was he's what's he's 50, I don't want to talk about my dad. Years old. He's fifty five <laughs> years old. We would put an end to it. Okay, but to be fair. Yes. I have banged fifty five year olds. That is fair. But you're no longer 21 years old. I'm 26 now. Yeah. So you're right on the Leonardo DiCaprio cusp. I No, no, no. This was my Leo birthday, the most recent. That's I'm 26. Call- I'm out of I'm out of Leo range. Is that range. what they're calling it? Yeah, the 26th birthday. Well, I just heard today that he just he just started dating a 27-year-old. <gasps> and it's in response to the thing. He's oh dating one God. of the Hadids. Oh, well, it's one of the Hadids. So first what, off, I, I think they're lizard people. Is. Bella and Gigi. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> They're lizard people for sure. They don't age. <laughs> so I don't know who the, who or what. The, I know that one of them was with the weekend. They're two sisters that are supermodels. Okay, are they? And they come twins? from a really really rich family. No, they're not twins. One is older, and I think the older one is Bella, and she's like dark haired and sleek and intense. And are then they, the younger one is like blonde and kind of bubbly and a are they softer valid looking. as supermodels? I mean, they're fucking gorgeous. Okay, so they deserve it. But also, they're from like super. It's kind of like the Cara Delevingne thing, like. Okay. Is she rich? She yeah. Oh, She's from that. like British lordship. Family. Oh, I didn't know that. You know that's why I yeah, joined. Yeah, her family Raya. is ridiculous. That's why they, you joined. They what? told me she was on Raya. There was an article out there. She was on Raya. That's why I joined Raya. I love her. She hasn't dated a man in a long time. I mean, She's I would honestly. I may say things right now, but I would date her in a second. I love a hot woman. I would love you to date her. So um, let when, her know <laughs> when <laughs> Ariana <you> Grande <laughs> started dating uh, Pete Davidson. All my thought was, was, oh, she's so much closer to me now. Like, I know Pete <laughs> Davidson. And I, and New York Comics Unite. I could, I could fuck her. Yeah. So, like, that was my thought process, was that I could get Ariana Grande now because she's closer. So, if you got Kara. Although, to be fair, I closer. think she's, like, a foot and a half taller than me. So, it would be. Is she tall? She's a supermodel. Of course she's tall. I think she's not. I think she's the exception. She's not. She was an actor first. Are you can, I, Google it? can I do it? Are you going to Google it? Okay, Google. Kara Delevingne. Alexa, Don't how tall is Cara Delevingne? No, that's not going to get us there. Fandom.com. 
She's six feet tall. She's six feet tall. Six feet tall. I didn't know that. She's a supermodel. I didn't to know that. To do runway, you have to be over I didn't, I five ten. I thought she was an actor who then got all these other opportunities. No. Are you shitting in my coffee? I will She's if you want foot. me to. But I would love to see the two. I would love to see the two of you together. Would you do scat play? We're what so off that? top. What is scapling? Scat play. I oh you, no, I absolutely I would not ever me. do scat play. Okay, absolutely well, not. Offer, that is a hard no. Okay? I just offer. wanted to make myself <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> Don't offer to shit in my coffee if it's not genuine. That's bullshit. All right. So why are you in New York? <laughs> You've been wanting to be here for a long time. I have wanted to be here since the first time I ever came to New York when I was 15 years old. Okay. On a church youth group trip. So we we did it in the last episode. Um, you're a former Mennonite. You're uh, either way. You're like ev- is evangelical the right word? Yeah. You're like you're like an evangelical Christian. Daughter. Was. Was yes, daughter, daughter. There we go. Yeah, you're in the, the in the past tense. You're in the space. <laughs> well, no, no one, no one, no one really. Well, that's not fair because your whole family stayed. But no, I was gonna say nobody really stays. The people that I know, honestly, are the people that like came to it after, and those mm-hmm. are the people that kind of freak me out more. Right, the um, people that are like, I've lived a cool life. You know what would be great? Fundamental Christianity. I yeah. think that sounds nice. And I always think it's a response to something. I think that if someone is like overexposed to the world in a way that they see the worst of humanity and they're dealing with a lot of, um, you know, betrayals of trust and pain, that they will seek something that seems simple and wholesome as a response. Yeah. I was gonna it makes go, sense. I was going to say something shittier. I was like, um, I think there's plenty of people that have like sucked a dick accidentally um, and then they decided, accidentally and then decided to be evangelical Christian because. Oh, you mean like men that are rejecting yeah. their gayness? Yeah. Oh, that's totally yeah. a thing. Yeah. I Did think- you know this is a real fact? Yeah. During the RNC, the uh, the services of gay escorts skyrocket. Uh, I believe yeah, every that. year. Yeah. I mean, it's a huge event for the male escorts. There's a lot of gay escort. vibes. And there's a lot of gay faces. And I mean this in a positive way, not of those specific people because they're doing <laughs> terrible harm to the world. Um, but I swear to God, every time I drink something, I put it straight into my lungs. OK, I don't think you're supposed to do that. No, I don't think that I, I don't. <laughs> it started when I was like 24 and I don't know why. Oh, and you, I can't stop consistent. it. So I, I have something similar. Where I'm, if I eat a sandwich, um, somehow the crumbles of the sandwich go straight in my windpipe because I don't know how to <laughs> breathe while I eat a sandwich. I've never said this to anybody. I don't know how to breathe. Let it out. Sandwich. It's okay. <laughs> Speak your truth. I don't know why <laughs> that's true, but every time I try to eat a sandwich, I get stuck. That's. Have you just given up on sandwiches? I, no. Not, no I <laughs> or try, you just choke all no, day? No, I try every day. I Maybe it's a day. new kink. You just <laughs> like being choked by no, your sandwich. You know what my new kink <laughs> is? What's your new kink? Apologize. Scat in your coffee? So because I only date people who can't apologize. If you apologize... Ooh. While I'm inside you, I've I'm I've never been bigger. It's like the craziest thing. Apologize. Does it matter what you're apologizing no, for? I don't want like a detail. I just want you to say I'm sorry and then just keep saying it while you come. No, well, because that I mean, if you start saying I'm sorry, you're going to extend my thing for like another hour. I had six for two hours this morning. Like I was like, I got I was like, I got to move and I got to. Oh, I see why you're still in the toxic two, relationship. I, I six for two hours this morning. Yeah, but I'm having sex for two hours in any relationship. Mm like I'm I, well so how do I say this without being shitty like women are not <laughs> getting women are not like stopping early men are so well see I'm the thing the, is the timeline is different for everyone for right? sure because there have been times when I've had sex for two hours when like an hour in I've been like okay oh. like this is this is enough of this yeah but I, it depends on the that. sex because there are also times when I'm like oh I could go all night yeah I hear that idea that somebody's in there too long and I don't know if that's a and then in that case I'm like just just give me it like give me a three taps yeah and like I'll a, go, I'll, I, can, I, I can go anytime <laughs> um, literally keeping it on tap <laughs> yeah yeah tap out tap out let's like let's rip it yeah but so the older I get the lo- the less I'm capable of like a of like a uh, like a quickie Actually, because I think I, you're invested in it. I more. get enveloped. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Maybe you're more in touch with yourself. No, I've always been a I've always been a weird like like 45 minute sex freak. Like, I don't know how weird that is. I think it we- seems like I, a good I, thing. I think it doesn't match the um, society. Right. I don't think mm. most dudes are that. Right. Because all the jokes of like, dude, it's like a two pump chump. That's not <laughs> made up. Like, that's a thing that people are experiencing. There are right? there are some for sure. 
But there's a broad spectrum. So, but I've always been. I had an ex boyfriend that was like, <sighs> he could go for two hours yeah. for sure. Sometimes yeah. way longer than. Who you saying is bad? Sometimes I was like, I'm gonna need an ice pack after this. Sure. Like this is just too much friction. I don't want to hurt anybody. But I mean, mo- most of the time, it's nicer on that side than the other side. Because otherwise, you're like, okay, well. What's no? Now we're speaking. In, we just in, started. Where are we going? On what side? What over? side? You're saying the long side over the short side. I'm saying both sides can have issues. I see. And you gotta yeah. kind of feel it out, literally yeah. and figuratively. Yeah, I mean, and then also there's great sex where two people make each other come like immediately, like lightning fast, like with precision. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> you really don't. <laughs> My body does not come quickly. It just right? doesn't. It. Do- I wish that it would. Can you explain? It just doesn't. Can you explain why? Um, and then is it a build-up situation? Um, or I, what happens that it takes time? It's like a mental thing okay. where I have to like step out of my headspace because I always have like 80,000 different thoughts running through my mind at well, yeah, any moment. And that's I why get, I like being choked is because so it'll actually like no shit. put me in the moment. I, I, as soon as I put my dick in somebody, I get so far out outside the realm even if even if we're like 69ing and this isn't a fun new one is like is like just just doing just doing fun different stuff than i than i used to with mm-hmm. my hands um trying some stuff uh, i get so far outside of myself i have act i can come at any time like i have access to the, the like once we're in That's it that would be nice it's it is it's wonderful but then also like because of that i want it to last like a certain like there's like there's like a moment where i'm like i need i'm, I'm gonna i would like to come right now Mm. And I and then I and then I and then I almost like stage it in my head and then I try to like work it out mm-hmm. in reality as long as like it's all stuff that's in bounds. Right. But so you're in your head, you're having sex, you want to have sex. I want to have sex. I'm enjoying the sex, but I'm simultaneously like thinking about the texture of the sheets and thinking about yeah. the way the light is hitting on the sky and then hearing myself grunt like in the third person or moan or whatever and being like is this moan maybe too loud maybe i should try and not moan because i'm being a little too loud and then i'm thinking about my breathing pattern and it's all happening simultaneously are you worried that you're um like unattractive during the process no no it's not that i just I'm always a very observant, very conscious person. Yeah. And there's just every in any moment, anywhere, I'm noticing and thinking about everything. Weird. And it just, the brain does not turn off. So it's not that, it's not that you can't, that you're in it, unable to come fast. You just have to get out of your head and then you can come. Uh, it's I, just not a thing that's really happened for me. Like when coming, I masturbate, I can come quickly. No, 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 no. Coming, coming happens for me. Yeah. But like when I masturbate, I can come quickly because I will just like zero in and focus. I got to get this nut. But when I'm with another person, my focus is on the connection with the other person yeah. and not on the comedy. Why doesn't that turn you on more? It's not that it it turns me on. Yeah. It turns me on. But there's also a weird thing. I don't know if other women experience this, um, but where once I get to a certain level of turned on, it's yeah. actually harder to come. Sure. Well, that speaks to men too. Like I've been, I've been, like uh, viscosity is not the word, but I want like I want like a, I want my dick to be a certain level. When I come in, it's like it has to be like the right amount of like gummy to hard, <laughs> right? And there's too hard, or you don't want to mm-hmm. come there. That's dangerous. And then there's too soft. So it's the same idea. You can get, to, and I can. You can get to a point where you've like you missed it. Like you you missed yeah. your exit. Um, so and then th- you have I to think, figure out where to go from I there. Think that speaks to everybody. Yeah. And then sometimes yeah. you're just like, I'm not gonna. Um, cause then also then all, you know, then y- your head plays a lot of it. Cause if you, if you, mm-hmm. if you think you've gone past it, then a lot of times you have, because now you know, you can't yeah. get back in yeah. the space. Well, that happens to me big time where I'll be like, oh, they really want me to come. Well, now I'm thinking about the fact that they want me to come right. and I'm not going to come. It's just sure. not going to happen. Sure. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. That's frustrating. But, you know, I still I really enjoy sex, even if I don't come. Yeah. So it's not like a be all end all for me. It's interesting. So but it's, it's frustrating. It's hard to tell. So sometimes like there was a point where I was like, um, I think it might have been a particular sexual relationship and I wasn't. Um, things weren't ideal for me. The, something about the I don't remember exactly what the circumstances were. 
but the the focus wasn't on me but then but then it would be at the end and like so a lot of times i was i was like fine not coming but then that freaks women out if you're a dude and you don't come oh yeah yeah, yeah. and you can't fake because we're so accustomed to men dude. yeah that's Just the end of sex yeah dude comes what i love it's so rare but what i love is if a man comes and then he eats me out sure because i'm like Fuck yeah! Like I get so turned on by yeah. you coming. You haven't you haven't finished yet. I haven't finished We're just yet. To get he you comes. Done. Yeah. And instead of being like, oh, I'm out of it. Yeah. He's like, all right, now I'm gonna make you come yeah. because then I can actually just like take. That's why I like blindfolds too, is I can really just be more present in the moment. Interesting. It so kind of slows my brain down. No, a little. no blindfold. Are you mad um, if somebody has their eyes closed the whole time? No. Are you mad if somebody has their eyes open the whole time? Sometimes it'll weird me out. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, it, it depends on who it is, though, because sure. there are some people where I'm like, ooh, we have this great connection. You look into their eyes and it's yeah. like, fuck, yeah. Yeah. Get in like, there. Like, okay, in I have brain. someone like that that Get I met brain. right before I moved to New York. Okay. Okay. Where this are they now? In New York. Okay. This is a crazy Did story. Um, We have hit it, and it's amazing. <laughs> okay. We met on the subway. Yeah. This is what, this is what, <laughs> this is what living in New York is about. <laughs> He's so hot. And then so hot. Who, who approached who? I sat down next to him because it was like the only empty seat. Yeah. And then you he, didn't realize he was hot yet. Oh, no, I realized he was hot, but I wasn't going to like hit on some random on the right. subway. Right. Like, Women never take it upon themselves. Well, also, like, that's not what I, I wasn't like necessarily looking for anything. I hadn't sure. actually moved to New York yet. I was it was the weekend when I was like scoping things out. Yeah. I'd come up to like submit my application yeah. and stuff and meet my roommate. And uh I sit down next to him on the subway and he turns to me and he's like, I have a really weird question. Like, what is that? And he points at my pop socket. He's like, I see these all the time. What What's are they pop- for? Oh, he knows pop exactly socket. what it is. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. And I was this like, oh, what- this guy knows what it is. That's but it so was funny. a good starter. This is what's beautiful about <laughs> men and about having a line. I talk about this on stage. It's like, it doesn't matter what the line is. You just do the one line and you have the one line and you mm-hmm. just rock that line forever. Forever. And, right. And then and what's your line? And and when she responds to it, then you're like, I don't ha- right. So I don't. So I have a line like on the on like the sites, right? Mm-hmm. And it'll be the same line because it's all it's all bullshit anyway. But the the notion is like, you just pick a thing, and whatever. I don't. I haven't walked up to a person and hit on them, and maybe ever. Wait, maybe you ever. haven't? Maybe ever. Okay, how are you about to get on me for not making the first move on this Women hottie don't. on the subway? Oh, yeah, no, no, I so, have before, but, but, okay. and it's very effective. Your bounds for rejection are like literally zero. See, and the thing is, I am a, are I'm almost a bisexual woman, and I'm 100. terrified of women. And I, you should be. I am. They're, I am. So I understand. They're so scary. They are very scary. That's what I mean. So now you know. <laughs> so you should take it upon yourself to talk to men. I approach men whenever I feel like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I worked as a stripper, too. Yeah. So, so you had to, it's but that's a sale. easy and simple. That's yeah. a sale. But yeah. like there Could was a guy. Uh, I might. I'm recovering okay. from a broken toe right now. All right, let's so. Track. so he says pop socket. Right. 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 So he's Doesn't asking me what, opening, what it is. What's it called? Yeah. We start talking. We're hitting it off. He's cute. He's fun. I can tell he's a little nervous. Yeah. And I like when I can tell men are nervous right. about me. That feels good. That's fun. It's, yeah. It makes me feel powerful. Yeah. Right, we exchange Instagrams. I get off at my stop. He gets off at his stop. No, and then stop there. Okay, is that a is that a cop out? The, the Instagram, like he's if he's gonna text you, shouldn't he just get your number? I didn't want to give him my number. You didn't want to. No. Why? Because I just met a random man on the, the subway. Number still sacred. Well, also, I wanted to get his Instagram because that gives me more information about him. him. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Right, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm like, okay, sure. You can follow my Instagram. I give you my like hostogram, right? So it's public anyway. Yeah. So there's nothing on there that you wouldn't not know about what, me. You're saying hostogram? What did you say? My hostogram. What's hostogram? My Instagram account that's connected to my whole life. Your whole Instagram? No, my whole ho- hostogram. Hostogram. Yeah. Connected to your whole life versus. My whole life. Got As it. in like. All my glamour modeling and so like it stripping. So it is your whole. It is your whole yeah. life. Hostagram Got for it. my whole life. Got it. Oh, they said your whole life. No, no, your no. Whole life. Whole life. And your whole life is so much less of your life. It's actually more of my <laughs> life, I would say. <laughs> Fine. So you and you. So do you fear, as a sex positive woman, that somebody could take it the wrong way? No, because if someone takes it the wrong way, it's not someone that I want to talk to anyway. Sure. So it's a great way to weed people out. But in this but conversation where we met, I mentioned that I was in sex work. Yeah. Like Why? right off the boat. Because if someone's not down with that, 
I don't see any reason in wasting any more of my time talking to them. How often are they not down with that? Sometimes, for sure. Really? What yeah. do they say? Uh, usually they'll have questions. So it's always helpful because it gives me a chance to educate them on things that they might right. be misinformed about. Right. And so it helps go, reduce oh, stigma. Oh, you're in porn. Oh, you've been trafficked. Oh, you're like a right. child. X, Y, Z, all of these things. Yeah. Or, oh, you're not the kind of person I think of sex workers as. Right. Like, oh, you're educated and articulate. Because I'm wearing a shirt. Right. You're wearing a shirt. <laughs> right. You went to college. Right. <laughs> sure. Like you seem like you have your shit together a yeah. little bit. How yeah. could you be a sex worker? Right. And so I, re- I actually really it's one of my favorite. What's pastimes. your pitch? Yeah. 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 Like I'll I'll go on a plane and I'll have these conversations with my seatmates. And then at the very end, they'll be like, oh, what do you do? And then I'll be like, I'm a stripper. Yeah. And then I watch their whole opinion and perspective and of strippers stripper. change in a moment. You see strippers specifically. Uh, usually because yeah. that's like a very cut and dried, like yeah. people have an idea of what they think a stripper is and yeah, who they think a stripper is. Work, it's very it's vague. vague right now. Mm-hmm. It's a whole umbrella, because, which I'll use yeah. that with other sex workers because they know what it is. Yeah. So but I don't know. Like a random so sex work, I never know what that means anymore. It's like, are you selling foot pictures or are you, or are you physically fucking a person? And everything in between. Right. <laughs> right. Um, and I think, and I think, uh, look, I appreciate the, the the fact that we talk about and all this stuff but i think for the people that aren't as aware as us i think the term is too vague and i think i think it's not that it's harmful but it's difficult what's even i think i'm getting a package right now i gotta get get my package all right other stuff that was not working so it worked out fine uh we're back we never really left um never left you got an amazon package just um ho shit obviously yeah um, definitely sex toys <laughs> I like everything everything I no do. it's home decor but <laughs> that's the same thing to me so let's talk about this plant i really am I'm wait, wait, wait. Like, i didn't tell the fun roller coaster of this sorry. story yet. well you got your amazon pack i got right, distracted so you're okay the, so you're so on, on the train. train we meet we exchange instagrams do the thing we chat I'm on instagram you why you do the stuff i should just let you tell the story yeah we chat on instagram then we talk on the phone briefly what is his instagram great like? his instagram he's a musician yeah i i did not get it cleared with him to share his instagram yeah, no, 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 don't. Okay, don't. okay, yeah, okay. No, no, but we I don't. Mean, we don't. The, all that I know is the people <laughs> that watch us are jealous of anybody who gets to fuck the guests. He's really hot. <laughs> and super in touch with his emotions. Okay. Ah. That's good. So he's a musician who used to work at a daycare, okay. like taking care of children. Yeah. And then he worked at a women's shelter. Okay. So this man is like in touch with Do all the think... feelings and communication. So let me ask you a weird question. Okay. Because it's perfect. Do you think any of it's bullshit? Oh, it's not perfect. I'm not done yet. Okay. But none of it is bullshit in that side of it. Sure. Like we have all these amazing open conversations. Our first date, we have a picnic in the park. Yeah. And he brings a guitar and art supplies and serenades me while I'm making art. And it's really fucking cute. It's great. And then we go to his place and have sex. Um, And then here's where it gets weird. He has terminal cancer. Ah. And he has been given one year to live. I don't think any of this is real. This is, a movie. <laughs> this is all. This is a movie. Completely real. I don't believe my him. life is a fucking movie. These I don't things... believe him. I think I think he's got a second apartment. And he lives. He, a, he has lives a... like eighteen different scars all over Crazy. his body from these. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, I don't mean to diminish your thing. I'm yeah. I'm in therapy, and 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 I hate it when people um minimize my things. So all of this is real. It's funnier as a comedian if it's not, but it, it is real. And it's wild. It is wild. What are you going to do so that you don't. Um, well, we talked about it. We had a whole conversation yeah. about like, oh, well, you know, I could definitely develop feelings for you. We're having. You um, yes. Yeah. And I mean, he also said it. But yeah. I was like, we're having this incredible well, sex. Yeah. Like the sex is unreal. It's yeah. so good. And his dick is beautiful. And the cancer's not. It, it doesn't affect sex areas. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's like. Like a tumor on his foot and in his lung. Oh. Good time. He's been given one year to They've live. Gone. So one, it started somewhere and made it the other place. Yep. Yeah. And that's why he's dead. I, 
Yes. I mean, hopefully that it won't happen and I'll have like a miracle cure. But I do. You, I had to be like, I can't fall in love with you. A miracle cure. Do either of you think that that's an, ob- an opportunity? I think that he remains hopeful. Yeah. But I mean, only time will tell, right? You have no idea. I don't know. I mean, death is a pretty uh, certainty. Yeah, it's and, just a question and as of somebody when. who's been dealing with a tumor for two years, and every time they try to work on it, it things in my life get a little worse, and my vision gets a little worse. Um, and finally, being like a patient, like doctors don't fucking know anything. They really Which actually, don't. you could you could take that positive, or you take the negative. I take it negative because it's like you're not fixing me. Mm-hmm. And so I imagine that that's what most of this shit is. I have the best doctors. Like I go somewhere and they tell them a thing, and they go, I tell them the doctor, and they go, oh, that's the best. Great, they're the best doctor. They're an asshole, though. Right? The best ones always are. It's crazy. I had a terrible doctor in Italy. He was so mean. Oh, for your broken toe. For my broken toe. Yeah, well, he was so mean. So he was making mean fun you? of me. It's a 15 minute uh, encounter. Right. <laughs> he was like, mm, <laughs> you won't be able to shower for six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck you, you Italian doctor. He was going like this. Uh, he was being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, wait. So let's let's stay on the thing. Okay, okay. So. If straight we, and narrow. If we go positive, then doctors don't fucking know, and then then he can live as long as he wants. Maybe. But we don't think we don't even think that one's real. We don't know anything. We don't know anything, except don't fall in love with him. Except yeah. How do you do that? Unless it. Uh, that's a great question. How if you, you have an that? answer, please tell me. How do you do that? I'm trying to like emotionally keep myself a step away, and yeah. I'm obviously like gonna keep fucking other people. Yeah. Because that helps for sure. Is that? Is that is that within the bounds of what you're doing? Is that fine? I mean, I told him that I don't yeah. want anything that's exclusive. Yeah. So that that's a conversation we had immediately. Right out. Right yeah, out yeah. I'm not trying to make anyone think that I'm trying to be in an exclusive relationship when I'm not. Because you just got to New York and it's fun space, or have I you think ever- I might be done with monogamy forever. I, I won't speak to forever, but at least for now. <laughs> that sound between the uh, between the question and the answer was incredible. So loud. I'm just gonna isolate that. Oh, I, I, for who, who's forever? I don't know shit about forever. Yeah, that's. Cool. I didn't even get any tattoos because okay. that's too long term of a commitment. Of, how much of a religious shame still works its way into your life? <laughs> It pops up in weird ways. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to ask you about the sex thing. You, yeah. You were talking about the sheets, and I was wondering whether or not you're like, you like you think that God doesn't want you to come. Oh, no. But God wants you to come. I, I don't really care if God wants me to come Fine. or not. <laughs> Fine. Fine. <laughs> but um, I think that um, if God was a God that made people with the ability to enjoy pleasure and then told them to not have that pleasure, that God would not weird. be a good God. That'd be weird. Let's just so, say it'd be weird. Yeah. That's not a God shame. You wouldn't let me. Oh, bo- you wouldn't let me body shame a monster, Leonardo DiCaprio, who is a human. <laughs> See, let's, the let's, thing is, so let's not God shame God. You know, but you don't believe in any. I believe that there's like a greater something. Yeah. Uh, but I don't try to define what yeah. that is. Well, but but down, but but we, but we were down a human. path. We were down a framework. You said if there's a God who made pleasure centers, uh, he, you know, it, he would be shitty. Did not want. No, he it would be weird if he made pleasure centers and then didn't want you to enjoy. It. That would be weird. Yeah. Well, especially also if we're made in his image. Right. Yeah. So following like the Christianity. He's thread. got the sweetest pussy. Exactly. So Definitely. God loves sex. I would, if I would we're made totally like God and we like God's sex. Pussy. God is a woman. I would totally eat God's pussy. <laughs> Better be I very don't think juicy. God would apologize to me for anything, though. No. That's my new kink. Do you think uh, I can present that to somebody? Like, the listen, kink or God? The kink. The kink? Yeah, like, listen, Yeah, you definitely could. You I just have you, to be upfront about that. But I, it, it can't be like, I need you to apologize for me to come. But I've only ever dated people that can't apologize. So now it's like... <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. So That's it's fun. Like, yeah, so it's like, it's like years... And then, you know, and then if we're obviously, if we're therapy answering, then that means obviously my family can't apologize. I was going to say, are we getting into therapy? Because uh, I was about to ask about your mother. Yeah. Well, is and, she a and, narcissist? And, but what I realize is that it, it's not necessarily my mother. It's more it's more my father. Mm. It's more my sister. My sister didn't want me to be born. Ooh. So it's this kind of stuff. And so the thing where I make somebody laugh, mm-hmm. that was stopping me from getting punched in the face. So that's what that's what the life that makes sense. Like I, and, and, that, and to the same extent, I don't fear like violence because I, I like... I know I can stop it before it happens yeah. for the most part. Do you know how there's fight, flight, or freeze, right? The trauma responses? They keep adding stuff. Yeah. The fourth one is fawn. 
Fawn. Fawn. And what is fawn? So mean? like to fawn over someone is yeah. to try and make the person happy. Sure. To divert the sure. conflict. And I think that's which a, I think making that's people the laugh is a big part of it. One. Yeah. 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 Be like, don't hit me. I'm gonna suck your dick or whatever. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Exactly. Whatever people. Do you do, do. that often? Whatever don't people do. Don't hit me. Do. I'll suck your dick. No, I don't. I'm never in this issue. Although I'll, t- I'll be honest, that's Ooh. so funny that it somehow came up. That's the p- best and fastest way. If I'm on stage and someone is like trying to do masculinity shit to me because mm-hmm. they don't like where the joke is gone, mm-hmm. I'll I will I will go um I will I will like lead into homophobia. Not that I'm, but he's homophobic mm-hmm. because he's I can tell because he's like trying to fight me. Yeah, and I'll be like, oh, well, he's like, let's take this outside. And he'll be like, why do we want to take this outside? You want to make out? We want to make out. We can make out right here. <laughs> so generally, I, yeah, I'm like, listen, I know one of us is gonna get blown tonight. I don't know if it's me or it's you. So I will <laughs> I will do that, but not not in not not for serious. Not on the stage. Um, I don't know. I don't know where I'm at with. I want to. Th- th- this is dumb, but uh, dumb I think it's woke. Like I want to. I want to be. I want to be able to suck a dick to feel like a more whole person. Does that make sense? I think I agree with that. <laughs> like, like that's like experiencing happiness and joy, and then yeah. running away from pain or anger, or any of the things we don't like. Yeah. We're not. We're missing out on the human experience. Yeah. Wanna, Part of the human experience is dick sucking. I want to, yeah, I want to. Ha- it's it seems very difficult. I'm sure you could find a dick to suck. No, plenty of people. There's a lot want, of dicks in New York City. Plenty of people want me to suck their dick. Plenty of people want to suck my dick. Um, you could whole, probably arrange it to the, make a pretty penny out of your whole first dick sucking only experience. Fans is dedicated to men who want to see my dick for sure, and who I think get a little bit uh, disheartened by seeing a woman do it. Oh, um, but um, well, maybe one of them will want a guest star. Want to guess? And th- well, so I, I wonder if that's my. I wonder if that'd be my starting point. Have you ever had a man suck your dick? No, I wonder if that'd be the starting point. Is that I would do a threesome where the where the man is. Well, let me tell you bi. this. But a I, man I don't have that, that likes dick. A man that likes dick and likes to suck dick is way more dedicated and loves dick more than any woman. They say that. But that might not be true because I like the softness of a woman. I like the I like the I like the size play of there are small twinks of someone with a small hand and a and a um yeah I like these I, and I really like I really like eating pussy. It's pussy my is fav- great. It's my favorite. They don't thing. necessarily have to choose between sucking dick and eating pussy. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Well, so, I like them both. Well, so I'm in I'm in this space where I think I, and I was trying to again as as a woke person who doesn't necessarily need to do this math and maybe it makes me less woke for trying to figure it out. I think I think I I think I'm more into um a trans man than I am into a trans woman. I think Why my think that is? the physicality of the whole thing. Um Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. The I think I could be into either. Yeah, well, you're already for there, sure, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But one of the one of the one of the most interesting things I saw. I mean, I, I'm just into people. Yeah, let's be real. You but say that. I love like feminine women, and I love masculine men. Sure. No, sorry, I went the other way. I love <laughs> masculine women yeah. and feminine men. See, I like hard. that like balanced it's energy. It's hard to say exactly what you mean sometimes. Sometimes you say the exact <laughs> opposite. It's hard. Uh, yeah. Um, but that balanced energy where yeah. someone's in touch with both sides what of themselves. You? I'm a pretty feminine woman, but yeah. I'm also a very strong woman personality wise. Yeah. So I have some masculine energy in me as well. What's the thing that um, what's a turn off sexually? A sexual turn off? My ears. If you lick my ear, if you my ear has any saliva on it. Yeah. Gross. I, I don't that. want anything to do Will with it. Will you look at ear though? I'll lick someone else's ear. Yeah, that doesn't bother that so me. so interesting? That's a- but like too much just bodily like if you're licking my whole body stop stop licking my whole body i, know, I don't that's what like we're it talking about yeah it's like it's, it's gross there's something weird about like and then it, i'll like, the do wind hits it yeah and then it just like makes you feel cold and you're just pre- like you're just, all you can think about is ew there's saliva all over i'm me. with you sister I why don't saliva around why well and then and then <laughs> i and i love and like i said i love a sloppy blowjob but there's nothing worse um and wh- i'm using worse loosely but it's you're just covered in slime when you're done and uh-huh. that's frustrating uh-huh. Well, and then even cleanups frustrating because my current situation is like I can't just bolt into the living room and go get in the shower. I mm. gotta like get a towel and like stop whatever's right. going on, and that's frustrating. Because uh, I, I think say, about the towel. Oh, and then you're like, oh, the towel's dirty now. Right. Are you a little OCD? I'm very OCD. Okay. Yeah, fair. For fair. sure. 
That yeah. makes that tracks. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> okay. Good. But the thing is, with this whole like licking thing, if I'm really, licking if I finally thing. get past the point of being in my head, and I'm actually yeah. in the moment with the sex. Then it's super fucking hot. Yeah. Then I'm like, yeah, lick my whole body. I don't want to be. I don't want my whole body licked, but I do. I do like somebody who wants to be licked. I like that I would like lick something weird. Something weird. That's not supposed to be licked. It doesn't have any. Doesn't necessarily oh, have a pleasure. Like a like, foot. Like a foot. Yeah. I, it's like, a I like having my toes sucked. I'm not gonna like lie. Like an armpit, but that's a toe suck. That's very different. You know. No, I like. It's, I like my feet being. Sometimes being I'm just, just in there. Touched, and right here, like the way it's supposed to be, and then mm-hmm. I just get out. You know, I just get a lick in. Yeah. yeah. A little extra salt for your diet, sodium, to balance it out. Women are not that salty. <laughs> Women are not that sweaty. And it's like all these things. Men are all these so things, much sweatier. All, all these things <laughs> that, I, that I don't find uh, sexual and sexy about myself, but that I know other people do, so I appreciate them. I, I don't, that would be where I'm in trouble, um, being with a man. Hmm. Sweat. Well, you don't really know until you not try being, it. Not being, a, not being, um, not being the, the dominant force. All this stuff. I think if you fell in love with a man, if you let yourself get to that point and it was able to happen, that it would make you appreciate and love yourself I more. I think that's true. I think that's I think that's fully true. Yeah. I don't disagree with that at all. I find that all of my um most of my interactions though with women are the are the more positive ones. And I think women understand me more. I think women are just better. That's probably true. <laughs> um, Sorry to all the men out there. Yeah, I don't think I there don't are th- some good ones. We there had, are some good we ones. We had our day. We had our day. You had like four thousand years. Yeah, we had days. our day. <laughs> uh, I'm, listen, I'm not. I'm not like. I can't represent the patriarchy. I was. I'm just like a some sort of like mixed Italian thing that like never got a lot of respect historically, right? So <laughs> it's, I'm not clumped in there. Um, so I can't. I can't. I'm not benefiting from the patriarchy. You're. I'm are not. you sure about I'm that? Not. Listen, we can you're have sure the debate. You're sure you're not benefiting from the future? Let's have the debate. Let's <laughs> okay, have the debate. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's have the debate. Where would I benefit in my current state? In your current state? Yeah. Well, you benefit from the patriarchy by your ability to walk around at night and feel 100%. safe. 100%. That's fair. So, right off the bat. That's fair. You've been proved wrong. Um but that but I but I but then I'm I but then I'm in another space and I don't know if this and I don't know if this goes outside the patriarchy but I have an energy and a vibe about me and a physicality about me that kind of says a he belongs here and b uh, let's not see so like I generally don't get fucked with and then if I do end up in a, in like a rage space how tall that are you terrifies people I'm not that tall I'm five eleven I'm like I'm five three I get that. <laughs> I get that. So I just want to point but out. But I'm not. I shouldn't be taller or bigger than most men. So I don't know. Is that part of the patriarchy? They're at least like equal size. The average height for a man in the U.S. I believe is five nine. You just carry that around. I am full of factoids. So funny. Would you date a man who's five nine? Yeah. I actually I like prefer men that are slightly shorter because I don't like breaking my neck trying to look at someone. Interesting. Yeah. If the guy's like six two, if it says that on a profile. It's almost always a left swipe for me. It's also, I just don't to like be clear, if he's 6'2", he's not 6'2". Even if he's not, the fact that he felt the need to put it on there means that he's maybe insecure about his height, and he I'm sucks. not trying to fuck a man that's insecure. Yeah, somebody who puts the height on there thinks sucks. And a woman who puts the height that she needs in there, she sucks. Um, it's just not no. It's it's just not relevant. It's weird. It's not. But like, I have met men in public and been like, damn, you're hot. Oh, but you're too tall. Yeah, fair. So I am still That's fair. maybe a little... I'm trying to think. I think I, I think I I think I have a, um, a, a a physical type that I will um, accidentally, without thinking about it, kind of default to. Yeah, I think most people do. I'll send people away on yeah. an app without really thinking about. Oh, you know what? I know why it is that guys that are too tall bug me. It's because my first relationship, my first partner was with a woman that was like an inch shorter than me, yeah. inch and a half shorter than me. And so, like, that was four Perfect. years of just being with someone that I literally saw eye to eye with all the time, yeah. right on lip level, right on tit level, like yeah. all of the things. I don't know. I, I don't know how to. It was great. I remember in college, uh, I remember that this is, I, I was like experimenting with sex for the first time. It was like my first, it was my second girlfriend, mm-hmm. and we're having a lot of sex. And um, I remember the first time we were like somewhere standing. And I remember how I was like, I didn't I didn't realize how short you are. Like, I've never <laughs> you live next door and you've just been coming over and you just been fucking and five months. I had no idea how short you were. And everybody's the same height in bed. More or less, more I'm gonna or less. I put that on a bumper sticker. 
Yeah. Everyone's I mean, the look, same height look, in bed. Look, if you're, you're five one and he's seven one, if that's gonna be uh, like a physical difficulty. Yeah. But generally, you're gonna be in the range where where I can figure out how we're the same height. I can figure out how to put my foot on your foot, even if you're shorter than me. I can figure out how to put my foot on your face. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can figure out how to. Is so that something stuff. you do often? It depends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I dated a really tall girl, and I'd somehow I could put my foot on her face, and it, and and w- it was the same kind of thing. It was like she was very new to sex. And then I was just doing stuff that I'd never done before. Just testing the waters, experimenting. I don't know. We were just, you know, we were, it's like, it's like what you were saying. Like, we were just vibing in, like, the fucking. The, oh, That's uh, what's up. And then you just, so you're nice. just like, I don't know. I, it feels like I can do this. And then if you have a question, because it's, like, violent, you ask. And then they go, fuck, yeah, let's go, you know? <laughs> let's try. So that's that's what that was. That was fun. We did something, I think we feel like we did something else weird. Probably, knowing you. Yeah, no way. <laughs> and the limited knowledge I well, have of you. So I, I do have a gripe with all men and the way that they're like is purveying the right word, the way they're like trying to g- to gain anal, because there's so many people that are like upset with anal. I don't and, understand it. And they're like, oh, it, they're like, oh, I tried it. It's no good. It's the same kind of thing. It's like once you're in a space where all of your holes are relaxed and open, then you're like you're good. I don't know how to like. Then you're good. Everything's wet. Everything's whatever. It's like it's. Um, yeah, but it's not just about like, oh, it hurts. Yeah. It's about other aspects, like how weird it feels the next day. OK. I am not a fan of anal. So it's just so complicated. Like it's so much work for an experience. That's why does it work? Not. Why does it work? Tell me. Well, you want to make sure that everything's clean. You want to make sure that you're not because when you first have something go into your ass, it feels like you're shitting. Okay. It is the same sensation. And so you're panicking a little bit. It's very hard okay. to relax when yeah. you feel like you're pooping on someone. Interesting. And so it's just not enjoyable. Yeah. And then even if you know and you've done the preparation, right, like the edema or whatever. Yeah. To like clean it out and sure. flush it. You know, you have your diarrhea earlier in the day as you clean yourself out. Right. right? Tell me this isn't work. Sure. And then you go have the anal sex and the whole time it feels like you're shitting. And then maybe if you finally relax enough to actually enjoy it, it's like, OK, it's not better than vaginal sex. Sure. And then I mean, the next day afterwards, your butthole leaks a little bit the whole day. OK. And you feel weird the whole day. Yeah. And you're like, was this worth it? No. OK. Absolutely not. All right. Um. So I don't if you're a man that wants to have anal with me, you can ha- go fuck yourself. Or I'm find a man that wants to fuck you because guess what? There are a lot of gay men that like fucking assholes. So if you really want or oh, you know what? There are gay well, men that like having their asshole sucked. So if you really want I, anal and your girlfriend doesn't want to give you anal, ask her if she's comfortable with you fucking a man. So I don't think we need to go that far. <laughs> um, I went on a rant there. I do, I do find it. And I didn't want to interrupt it. I do find <laughs> it funny when women are like, oh, you you want anal so bad. Why don't you let me peg you? And it's like, it's just not it's just not an equal thing. It's like, I don't want my earlobes licked. You don't want your earlobes licked. Like, See, but, the but that thing doesn't is... mean I don't want to lick an earlobe. Right. So if I like whatever my and I don't and I don't as a man want to put my dick anywhere you don't want me to have it. Right. Um, but I also want you to be open for. Some new stuff that maybe you've disqualified in the past. Well, maybe you should be open for new stuff that you've disqualified in the and past. And I am. No, yeah. and I am. And do you so, like being pegged? And I, I've never. And so, and I've, and um, be open to it. But so, I mean, I don't. But it's not equal, right? It's like you don't want it. Uh, both people have a butthole that's very similar. I know, but we should only put uh, things in the people's buttholes that want it in there. So if I'm the girlfriend not, said she doesn't want it in there, it would never be a discussion beyond that. Okay, but yeah. you think that she should be open to new things. I don't even love somebody who who like shows up and then you meet them and they go, oh, I don't do A, B, C, and D because I had a bad experience. I think that's a bad place to start as a person, right? Whether it be sushi or anal. I think you should I see be, your point. I, I see think your you point. should be open all the way. And I've been in scenarios where I'm vibing with somebody who I just put my foot on their face and they're like, I don't know. Do you want to like, do you want to try? Do you want to switch holes? Right. And I and I like and I like that space. Mm-hmm. Um, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I will say things do not feel the same with every partner. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. And there are things that I've been closed off to with certain partners that with other partners, I'm like, you know what? No, I, this feels yeah. good. I feel safe with you. Yeah. Whatever the case may be. I got to figure out how to say this one without it sounding. Do, I, I got stuck at a party once sounding like a toxic <laughs> male because somebody was talking about how they don't like swallowing. 
while giving hen. And I, th- I offered a simple solution. And I was like, oh, you shouldn't have, blo- you shouldn't blow that person at all. Mm-hmm. Because my perspective was, the person that I want to like put my mouth on, I want to swallow all their stuff. I want it all. I want it all. If everywhere. you're not into all the things, why are you fucking that person in the first place? That's my point. Yeah, yeah. I and got so it went this other way, which is like, no, you if you suck a dick, you have to swallow. And I was like, that's not what yeah, I said. No, not that. Not that. <laughs> Get me out of this. Get me out of this thing I'm in. But um, you should have sex only with people that you really want to be having yes. sex with and you're but really enjoying. I found out recently. But also. I don't think people are doing that. Some people's cum doesn't taste good. Maybe. Even if you love the person, sometimes it's gross. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. So eat more pineapple, man. That's unfortunate. I think it. I think it. Um, I think it'll eat into the the thing. I think because I there I was, was a woman that I really liked who squirted. Hated it. And it just tastes. She she was a bodybuilder, and yeah. she ate all, like she had a lot of creatine in her yeah. diet. Yeah. And it just tasted so gross. Yeah. And I kept making her come and I kept being like, why am I doing this? Does she know? I didn't say it to her. Yeah. It was her birthday. I couldn't. Yeah. I broke up with a girl because her mom's, uh, it wasn't the main factor, but it was in there, that her mom had a horrible breath. Her and I broke mom? Up with, yeah. And I broke up with a girl because Damn. because she had horrible breath. Like like just like this placky kind of smell. Mm. And the second one was more like, like, a, um, like a reaction to the first one. But like we were hanging out. Mm-hmm. in the like we are at sunday dinner all the time like and so we c- i can't i can't have like smells and and t- it's all like it, it feeds into attraction yeah and if you're n- and it's like to some d- to some degree it's like once we get into like yoga reiki all that like linear stuff it's like if you don't like how somebody tastes that eats into a little bit of like the enrichment of the relationship and yeah. like your sexual attraction to them. And then you're like, is it a higher power that's deciding that I, we shouldn't be together <laughs> because I hate the way he stinks. Well, that's like the ick factors, right? You've heard this ick. term, the ick no. to catch the ick. No. Okay. It's a new thing. All Please. the kids are saying it. All the kids, yeah, are, all saying the kids are saying Isn't it. That you, <laughs> I have younger siblings. Everyone under 30 is the kids for me. <laughs> it's going to be under. 40, so I'm a so. kid. Yeah. Okay, the daddy. Ick. <laughs> <laughs> the ick. The, the ick is a term that's used when you, there's like a little thing that just gets you. Yeah. Like if someone licks your ear yeah. and suddenly all of the things that you found attractive about them, you can't even oh, remember shit. anymore because all you can see is the one thing right. that's driving Somebody you wild. Somebody says the N-word at You can't stand. Yeah. You're like, oh, I have the ick. Everything about you is canceled. I can't. Wow. It's this one little thing that just yeah, changes that. the perception. You what don't get that? the ick. I get, oh, I get it, the and then card. I just, and then I fuck them for another five months. I, I don't know how to break up with people. I want to be your therapist. I don't know how to leave. I want to take you My apart. My therapist is not doing enough work. I'll be your therapist. Please. I will take you apart. <laughs> Please. <laughs> On camera. <laughs> if I needed. Yeah, I can't, I can't figure out how to leave. I don't, I don't know how to do it. And like, all my friends are, my friends are over it. They're like, they're past, like, mm-hmm. dealing with it. They're like, yeah, we told you should have left. And now they're out, like, and then in the middle, they were like, they're like, all right, well, you know, try this, you know, or like trying to right, be supportive. Right, give it this chance. Give and it now they're chance. just like, you're not doing it. So, yeah. The ick. Maybe you want to be a victim. Maybe you want to be able to talk about how it's a shitty relationship and feel like someone is hurting you. That's a perspective. Without actually changing anything. That's a perspective. Does it give you a sense of power to be able to say that you're the victim? No. No. That's that's why I said that's a perspective. Yeah. Um, No, I I feel um, physically unable. I feel like I feel like harm will come my way if I do what I want. So it's fear based. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. 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 And I fear the anger and the anger. Space. And this yeah. is the thing I tried to talk to with this person was I was like, listen, you, like your anger scares the shit out of me. You're like you have like a you have like like a like violent and like what's the other thing? Like um, what's the word? Um, is it like outburst? Retaliatory. Like quick, ooh, retaliatory. Everything is retaliatory with this yeah. person. And that's frustrating. But I tell more about the ick. I want like I'm gonna, I have to add time to the. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you tell me more about the ick. As, as I had more time to the meeting. The ick. I feel like I kind of described the ick already. Like for some people. Okay. An, an ick would be someone chewing with their mouth open. One that happened to me specifically. People licking my ears is such a huge ick for me. If someone licks your ear, you don't, you don't ever want to be in a relationship with them ever again. No, I'll tell them. And if they do it again, then I wouldn't. Interesting. But like you can't expect someone to not to know that. But no, another ick is like, like there are opinions that are icks. Like if someone is rude right. 
to a waiter or to right. a server. Sure. Instant ick. I'm like, you have no respect for other people. Why would you have respect for me down the road? Fuck this. I'm out. Yes. I had somebody break up with me once because they, they didn't like the way that I talked to somebody in a hierarchy situation where I was at mm. the top of the hierarchy. And everybody in the hierarchy knew the deal. Uh-huh. And so it was constructive, and it was a thing that we had figured out. But they were like, I just, uh, they were like, I just foresee a future problem. But it was probably what you said. She didn't say it the way I'm saying it, the way you right. said it. But that's probably what happened. That sounds right. That sounds like, like, like yeah, uh, that you know, like basically, I like, I like told my, um, uh, we say superior, but what's the opposite? If I'm the superior, it's it's not an inferior. That's You're not right. My subordinate, my my soldier to do <laughs> something, and the way that I the way that I said it was not uh, appreciated. Um, so that was that was probably an ick. That was an ick. What are some icks that you've had? Um, stinky mom. Stinky, stinky breath, mom. Stinky mom. There's an ick. Um, ick. I don't know what else will stop me. Like it'll stop me dead in my tracks. If someone walks in front of me. Like if we're we're going somewhere, we're yeah, walking on I the street, and they don't walk with me, yeah. and they just walk like two feet in front of me, they ca- they're walking the same speed oh, as we- me, but they're not walking next yeah. to me. So, Why? So um, the uh, I have the opposite where I've 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 uh, overcome them, and then they're slow. Um, these are not ex. They're not going to end their relationship because I don't end relationships. But so they've <laughs> they've gotten. Um, so that, and then they continue to go deliberately slower so that the gap widens. I will do that sometimes. I, or I'll just stop to yeah. see when the guy will notice that I'm not with him because yeah. I'm like, if you don't want to fucking walk with me, then fine. We're not going to walk together. Yeah. Well, if you're going to just walk off but we and assume all I'm these following things to being you. bigger things than they are. No, but sometimes they're indicative of bigger things. Maybe. Like That's if, fair. if someone is just walking off and just expects you to follow them. Yeah in a street they're going to do that in other things too Maybe. and in my experience they do so the person there's one person specifically that i'm thinking of yeah that i always that i was with that um would do that every time that we were out i would always feel like i was chasing him because he would be walking ahead yeah and he just expected me to be following where he was going he yeah. just expected me to keep pace with him and i was like i'm not being prioritized in this and i looked at the rest of the relationship and i was like oh no we're just always oh sure i'm just following him where he's going yeah I don't want to do that. <laughs> I have some one. I have some ones that are that are. They're not even X. So I want to get out of this framework. But I have things that are like, like the 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 more I get, I don't know. I th- so the more you get into therapy, you realize that like sometimes the drama is you, right? And like oh, you're yeah. the thing. <laughs> and so am I the problem? <laughs> but I right, the, the, the tic tac. Like, oh, yeah. Is it me? <laughs> no, I? it can't be me. Am I the drama? <laughs> am I the drama? Oh, I'm absolutely the drama. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> I had one where I'd be like, listen, we're going to this thing. Here's like one eventuality. And this would really be bad for me. So can you not do this one thing? Mm -hmm. And then almost like because I pick people that have to do the thing. Yeah. So then there's always this. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Because they stir the pot. They want to cause issues. Yeah. So it's like, can you just not? I'm going to go. I'm going to meet your whole extended family at this wedding. (sighs) Just don't. Leave me by myself. Oh. We're like eight minutes in. And she goes with all of her sisters to the bathroom. And so I have to have my first interaction with her father and mother, who already disapprove of me because of her own thing that she did. Yeah. And whatever information she gave them leading up to this. So they already disapprove of me. And now I got to just. And it's like 30 minutes. Solo. That I'm just around people that I know don't and even want me to be there. she's off in the bathroom. There. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Damn. And then I was like, what did I ask you? And these are these, these, these non-apologetic people. It's these, I don't know, is it pots? Maybe it's a potster. I don't know what it is. Poster? Potster. I like oh, potster. Yeah, I like that you don't know any of the words I say. You say them very <laughs> quickly and very quietly. Maybe. So I'm going to need you to enunciate better. Listen. As a comedian, you we should try and make sure people Whoa, can hear your jokes. Don't bring my profession into it. I'll bring your profession That's into it. That's fucked up. You're like, listen, as a woman, you should understand. How am I going to laugh at your jokes if like I don't hear to them? Take a dick in all the holes, right? Yeah, it's not fair. That's right. Oh, I did in the wrong. Oh, I did in the wrong zone. The parking? Yeah, I think it's fine. <laughs> I think it's fine. I think what happens is I did it expire? This. Not yet. Okay. So now I got two going in two different zones because it didn't tell me which zone. Uh-huh. So what I think happens is. Is that if it's in the system, it doesn't register which zone it is. That's what someone told me. 
I don't know. I'll find out. I have no idea. No. I'll find out if my car still exists. Good luck. And luckily, the guy who uh, who I'm working with uh, owns a tow truck company, so he'll 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 at least be able to track it down. That's helpful. Yeah. It's a good friend to have. Yeah. Okay. So what the fuck? So I just found out your whole backstory of your life. You were you lived on a boat during the entire pandemic. Not the whole one, but four and a half months. Yes, I lived on a yacht in Singapore. You met a guy who's a boat guy. Yes, big boat guy, loves boats. And he has like a full-time, like, what's the show? Um, he just under likes the... boats. It's just like a fun thing yeah. that he does as a hobby. Yeah. Um, and and so, so he had a boat that we went and sailed on for a little bit. And then uh, it was in March of 2020. Yeah. And then he had to go to a different city for some work stuff. Why didn't you go with him? Because it was just going to be like two days of meetings. Yeah. And like end to end meetings. And you were like, I'm on a boat and there's a chef. I'm just going to stay. Well, actually, I was going to just explore Singapore more because yeah. um, I travel alone a lot. I love solo yeah. traveling. I love exploring new countries by myself. So I was like, oh, well, you're just going for two days. Why am I going to go sit I'm in, in a plane place. I have and wait housing. for you? Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. I'll chill here. You know, I have somewhere to be. I'm going to explore the city some more. This will be fine. Yeah. Cool. You'll be back in two days. See you in two days. Great. Right. I'm not pressed. You're not pressed. Yeah. Um, and the day after he left, the border closed. Yeah. And so then so I he's was, where? he's in Tokyo, Japan. And he lives where? He lives in a lot of places. He's a, he travels a lot. Does he, but, but can he live in Tokyo? He's stuck in Tokyo. No, he, yeah, yeah. He can live in Tokyo. Okay. Yeah. He can live all over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing that, that scared me. Like people that went places. And then couldn't leave that place. Oh, it was crazy. And then they have to just spend money to live somewhere they don't live. Yeah. That was yeah. wild. Yeah. I had a friend who got stuck in Peru. And so what they do? That was a big issue. I mean, she had like a, a family that she was able to stay with. Yeah. But I mean, you just wait. Figure it out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I ate, I ate through a lot of my savings over sure. COVID. I was like planning to buy a house. I yeah. had my down payment saved and then didn't work for like almost a year. Okay. <laughs> And uh, that's why I'm not a homeowner. <laughs> well, yet. And you're better. Yeah, you're better for it, maybe. Um, <laughs> so, I read an article where they were asking you some stuff. Some of the bucket list, list stuff, and some of them was travel. But that was I was under the impression, based on that interview, that you hadn't done the travel. Where have you not been? Well, there's a lot of places I haven't been because I want to travel literally everywhere. Yeah. Um, since that interview, though, I've traveled a lot more in europe and the caribbean yeah you just um, smashed your toe in italy i did yes this summer i spent a month in france i did a sailboat tour of the baltic with denmark and sweden okay went to monaco and italy of course so i broke my toe and then i yeah. had a broken toe on the sailboat which was a great combo what's wrong with a broken toe on a sailboat well if you have a broken bone and you're on something that's moving quickly yeah. and you don't want to bump the broken thing i see you kind of just have to and, stay in one place. And you put it and you broke the thing that's the most bumpable. Exactly. The <laughs> most important of the toes. Not only the big toe, but the big toe on the right foot. Why is that most important? Are you are I you drive because I have a car. Oh. Do you have that now? Do you have it in Brooklyn? Your car in Brooklyn? I left my car in Maryland. Yeah. I did not want to deal with it up here. Yeah. No, I use it to like bring You oddly live here. on like the block where everything is. You live on the block where like the courts are. I made a phone call yesterday to try to figure something out and I had never heard of the street and mm -hmm. that street is the one right before you. It's almost like I planned it. Yeah. It, it, it felt like if, I'm on else, top of all the subways. Well, it felt like the great. universe. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, I don't know. I literally said to the woman, I was like, I don't know what that street is. I need you to, I need, I've, it's the only street I've never heard of in New York. Mm -hmm. I need you to spell it. She spelled it like in the it shittiest is a funny way. Name. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like I know which one it is. What's the J it. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. don't tell him what it is. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> um, don't tell him exactly where you live. Ex thank um, you. <laughs> that's fair. We're somewhere in uh, Peru. Don't dox um, me. <laughs> somewhere in Peru. I just learned what dox is too. I just learned. You that. just learned dox. Yeah, I didn't know what that meant. Oh, yeah. That's been around a long time. Yeah, I know. Do you not know what pop sockets are either? I don't know what anything <laughs> is. No, no, I don't know what anal is. I don't know what. Um, <laughs> I don't know what uh, Let Leonardo, me teach you. Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio is. Okay, but the craziest thing about Tok or, um, Singapore Sorry. and being stuck there yeah. was during the pandemic, they had these robot dogs with facial recognition software ah. that would roam the parks to make sure people weren't walking around with their masks off. Wow. They got real. Well, what happened? The dog would attack you? What would uh, no, it would scan your face yep. and then it would send policemen to you. And yeah. obviously you're... All of your information is in there, like your phone number, your address. They knew where you were. They knew that you were on the boat somewhere. They know where you have to, like, check in and out of almost everywhere that you go. That's how Singapore works. Uh, well, during COVID, at least. I see. But Singapore is very much an authoritarian state. I see. Yeah. 
I've never been over in those weird places. I've never been in any of the places where they were caning people and where they make movies where somebody can't leave because they yeah. had the wrong pocket lens. I haven't been in any of those places. When you arrive to Singapore in your little passport, they give you the welcome card that says drug traffickers will be put to death. Sure. Death. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen all those movies. No joke. Yeah. I've yeah. seen all those movies. Yeah, it's so tests. funny when we try to make that movie, too, because it's like we're, they, they have to make the movie so that it looks like um, like. Uh, I was trying to th- Joseph Gordon Levitt, like he, like, like he, he was like was going over some times, like, like he, you know, he was, he's not a real drug trafficker. He was just doing it the ones. They have to make those movies, like, so that we feel like it's cool that, like, mm-hmm. he, like, went to wherever with like weed in his ass or whatever, like. Oh yeah, like it's like, just happenstance. It's yeah. not his job. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. He's driven to this. Speaking of Joseph Gordon Levitt, though. Yeah, you. He was my first male celebrity. Really. That I crush, crush that you first male celebrity crush. Um, where are you now? Still with it? I would definitely fuck it's Joseph Gordon Levitt if the opportunity presented itself. I'm sure we can make that opportunity present itself. Okay, well, you know, give him my number, <laughs> Joseph Gordon Levitt. I'm sure we can work. <laughs> okay, that so out. we have talked about Cara Delevingne and Joseph Gordon Levitt. I yeah, I Cara and Ariana are like mm. my, um, and then I have you know Cara's actually like probably not even in my my top ten of women. Really? Yeah. I mean, she's cool, and I would definitely still fuck who's her, your, for sure. Who's your, who's your one? Janelle Monae. Who? Janelle Monae. Janelle Monae. Janelle Monae was my first celebrity crush I'm, before Joseph Gordon. I'm, I, I, got, I got frustrated when Janelle Monae basically just made a Prince album. Well, I mean, she was a guitarist for Prince. Yeah, but... So it makes sense that she had some Prince influence. Listen, I, I love that you defend the things that I'm against. Um, yeah, I just want to get your goose a little bit. <laughs> Get Hello. my goose. <laughs> I know. I sound like an 80 year old. <laughs> I like it. But you said that's who you date. So who's the oldest that you've dated? The oldest that I've dated? Yeah. I think 53. Or fucked. So fucked then? Uh, probably in their 50s, I would say. And that's how young were you? In my 20s. My early 20s. And you were. Wait, when did you get out of your evangelical uh, swirl? 20. Well, got out of evangelical world at 18. And you to become, was, a, to become a lesbian. Yes. Well, to embrace my lesbianity. Love it. <laughs> like I said, you clean up my shitty language. Yeah, happy to help. <laughs> and um, so that's 20. At 18. When 18. Did you, oh, at 18. Sorry, yeah, you said yeah. that. Uh, I'm and then I was listener. in that until 21. When did you decide that there was a um, there was like a, a, a heterosexuality that you were into as oh well? Oh, my God. It was like a Hallmark movie. So I got really? out of that relationship, and three months later, I went on my first solo international trip. You're 20. To, I'm 21. 21. To Paris. Yeah. Paris, France. That's where you got those bangs. <laughs> you know, <laughs> these came many years later, but yes, this is a French bob. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, my name is Amelie. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. And my very first experience with a man ever was in Paris. And it was like, you can go to the bathroom. You are my girlfriend. Though you are not. It's okay. Why are you doing an Italian (laughs) accent? We're talking about Paris. No, I think this the separate. Yeah, it's pretty. My accents are pretty weak, but the but the the spacing is you good. Uh, do not speak in a French accent. No. 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 Please continue. Mon Dieu. So what was his name? Emery. 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 Not French. He was Israeli American. Sure. And he was traveling to France, and we yeah. met at a bistro. Yeah. He was so sweet and so handsome and so smart. He actually was the first person to introduce me to the concept of blockchain. Of blockchain. <laughs> blockchain, yeah. I love when they worked in 2018. The yeah. 2018 you was my intro. You have to get Bitcoin. You have to get it. It's going to go to 40. It wasn't Bitcoin that we were talking about. The technology no side shit. of blockchain. Yeah. And the implications of that. What's he doing now? Fascinating. Do you do you have any, do you have contact with every person? He's you, married now. Do you have I contact think. with every person you fucked? No, definitely not. Interesting. Do you have a lot of one night stands? Uh, I went through a phase after I'd gotten out of that four year relationship where, you know, I lost my virginity in that four year relationship. Yeah. And then I got out and I was like, okay, I'm fucking men to, now. Men fuck, are really easy to fuck. I have fuck. to fuck everything. Um, I or, was like, yeah, I have to live a little bit. Like, yeah. I didn't do anything all this time. Yeah. I was raised in a cult and then I was with one woman for four years. I'm not judging it. Like, let's let's get a little out of my system. Yeah. So I had a year or two there they where. They call that selling out. And I also like did not want to be in a relationship at all, but yeah. I really liked fucking. Yeah. But I didn't want anyone to get too attached. It's hard. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to do it. It's hard. It's harder as a man to kind of live that life. Yeah, because then you're like labeled an asshole. Yeah. 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 I w- w- that would suck. Yeah. Well, there was a thing for a while too where there was like a Yelp review for like uh, men. Can you pass that website to me? It doesn't exist. They had to. They had to kill it because <laughs> it was generally just just shitty to men. 
But um, but I guess I was on there. Somebody had found me. Uh, somebody that I was dating. What did they say about you? I had good reviews. You? I had good reviews. I had good reviews. Um, all. Which is interesting. This is so weird. I have a name. Oh, no. It's because they give me the names of the people now. I was like, there's a name on my phone that's been calling me with this person I've never heard of before. Weird. Um, sorry. I was supposed to still be on uh, on Do Not Disturb. Um, I lost track of what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, this website where you can review men. Yeah. No, that was the whole thing. But they don't have any more. But, th- but you, could, you, could put, you could put these reviews for men, and then it would deter women from dating other men. And because of the patriarchy, I'm sure that's why, because of the patriarchy. I'm sure, you, I'm sure we can put a review Women's Pussies website tomorrow, and, and it would stay up. I'm sure we could do that. I mean, there's like whole subreddits dedicated to that. Is that right? Oh, for sure. And, and I'll be honest, um, even when it's bad, th- it's fantastic. Like the reviews, it's like t- it's 10 out of 10. Always. Sometimes the bad ones are the more interesting ones to read. Yes. No, for sure. Like so, almost always. So the weirdest, and I won't even call it bad, but the weirdest sexual experience I've had to date is where I'm going in, and while I'm going in, she's going the other way. And then I'm like, oh, it's like a rhythm problem. And then yeah, I'm going yeah, yeah. out, she's like trying to suck in. I'm like, oh, it's a rhythm problem. She's a white girl. We're backwards. Mm. Like I'll I'll switch the rhythm and, it's and not I switch that. the rhythm and then I get and I got two strokes of in goes in and out goes out mm-hmm. and then she goes back to in. So I'm like so so it was like ultimately it was like we're allowed to use that much of of my penis. So it's like it's just like this little uh-huh, uh-huh. that was the weirdest. But still fantastic. A woman let me inside of her body. I, yeah. Ten out of ten. There you go. Ten it's a out good of attitude. 10. Yeah, to, like to, like it's crazy to let me in there. I once had a guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a horrible idea. Who, who was and like a client of mine at the strip club? Yes. He was the first person you're I not, ever gave a lap dance. You're not to. supposed to do that. No, but he was like really cute, and I liked him. Okay, but aren't you? Are, isn't it? But isn't here's the thing: tainted? we never had sex. We never had sex. Okay. He wasn't like a Carry key on. client. Like he had come in with a group of friends and they wanted to do a private room. Yeah. And it was my very first night stripping was the night that I met him. Great. I love it. And I love all your like um you've like all like perfect movie moments. I know. Like <laughs> who is writing my life? I'm just waiting for someone to Joseph hop in Gordon and be like, Levin. He's he's got all of those movies actually. He does, like Don John. Yeah, isn't that great? It's a sexy movie. Yeah. That's so funny. It's supposed to be the opposite. Isn't that so know, fucked it up? It is so sexy. Isn't though. that so fucked up? The the uh, the gnarliest, like most masculine photo that I have on the on the um on my dating profile mm-hmm. is the one that gets the most vibes and 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 like that always freaks me out. I'm like, you don't want you don't want oily, beardy, like right. um like masculine, like <laughs> hold you down guy all the time. That's not well maybe you get those responses because you have both sides. Maybe, but you can see which photo is getting all the energy. Mm, mm. Anyway, so strip club client. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so I, I go to hang out with him, and um, I like want to have sex with him. Yeah, he won't. Super cute. I'm into it. He does this thing all night where he just teases me because he wants me to know what it feels like. He's like trying to uh, get revenge on me for being a stripper and teasing men without letting them come. Interesting. He sounds lovely. I would John Henry, I would still fuck you if you're out there. What do you think it really was? I think it was that. No, or, it was always something else. Cuz I know that he was into me too. Yeah. Maybe he had an outbreak. I don't know. He also was like maybe maybe he was like feeling shy. Yeah. But he would get like so close and yeah. then just be like haha nope interesting be like you want it too much i'm not gonna give it to you interesting and it was so frustrating interesting i had no i i am i've almost virtually got got it taken away from me um mm. i won't use the r word because that's that's it wasn't that kind of experience but basically i had like a thing where it was like a teasy situation just kept like escalating yeah, yeah. and she just kept trying to like throw it in and i was like no we're not we're not i'm not interested in having sex mm-hmm. with you um, but that's different and not relevant. It's like the inverse. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he had me in his bed. Yeah. At his apartment. And you were like, I'm trying to get it. And I was, no, it was trying to get it. It was pretty similar, except you didn't take the dick. I, I asked him it why. It was the exact situation, except she kept dick. trying to take the dick. Yeah. Well, I would never take someone. Like, I, well, I'm very you. sensitive to those things. Thank you. I'm certainly not trying to. Thank you do anything that's on consensual thank you but i was very confused as to why this guy who i knew was into me yeah <laughs> wouldn't just fuck me <laughs> sometimes you never know and that's the, and that's what's frustrating and that's what therapy well, says is you don't have to know this is what he, he kept being like haha nope i'm not gonna get yeah but 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 i think all i've learned in therapy is whatever <laughs> whatever somebody says to you is not also true mm. 
and maybe what they're saying they think is true, but it also isn't true. So nothing's real. People are complicated. Who knows? Yes. No one. Nobody knows nothing, and you're never gonna. All right. Well, well, you're close, and we can talk uh, in (laughs) in in length uh, another time. But this is the length at this time. Okay. Um, So this is the Sexy People podcast. Thanks for Uh, having me. We have a new episode every Sunday night, Monday morning, midnight. Uh, we're on all the platforms. Uh, we have YouTube content today in front of some plants. It's a beautiful shot. You have to watch it. This is uh, we're Serena. Also, this is Serena. Um, we're going to have a, a, a bonus feature where we replant Serena. To <laughs> sort it out. Um, <laughs> try. I've never replanted a plant before. But get um, messy. check us out. I'm gonna. We're doing it. And uh, <laughs> but check scared. us out on all the things. Uh, whatever platform you're on. Uh, yeah, you you know the deal. Sack um, of Antlers on how IG. Do we, yeah, how do we support you all the things? You don't have, at, 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 at this date, you don't have many fans, only fans. You don't have stuff like that. I, I technically still have an only fans, but I'm not active on it. Yeah. I'm not... How do we? Not super how do we fans. give you your? But you're. Um, you, I have an Instagram. Are you and you? Okay, and you're also susceptible to like things like uh, I'm tips also, and gifts. And, I am. Okay. I have. I don't know what to call that. To wish lifts. Um, I have a cash app that's linked in my link you know, on my. You want to just bless IG. the lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My cash app is Elizabeth Hansen with an E N at the end, so E L I Z A B E T H H A N S E N thirty three. Well done. And that's cash up. What's 33? It's my favorite number. Why? Because it's double the luck. Three is a lucky number. Oh, I didn't know three was 33 lucky. 33 is double the luck. We have so much, um, like, inverse knowledge. Mm. I think it's fun. And we put the two of us together. We're super human. You know so much <laughs> of this stuff, and I know so much of this stuff. It's a Venn um, diagram where they're just opposite circles. Yeah. But that, but then, but then that creates a much larger circle. Aww. So you're gonna have to include me in. I don't know if we talked about it before or after, but you have to include me in the sex positive New York space. Um, yeah. And you have so many more things to ask you and, and talk about, but uh, not today. Thank We're you out for of time. doing this. Thank you. It. Thank you for hosting um, us. And thank you for watching. Watch more. Every, every Enjoy. Time.